Hey, welcome back. It's uh, Chuck here, and we got a nice episode of Daily Homes today. Some really hot properties, some some stuff that you can work with, some stuff that right out of the box is is perfect. So, uh, six twenty eight Elliotts, the first one, three fifty nine nine detached bungalow immediately gets your attention for this price. It's harder and harder to find them under four hundred now. Now, the thing is about this one, electric baseboard heating, okay, so you're not looking at, that's probably your air conditioner up there. I can't see it too close, but uh, certainly would have an effect. That's a, probably a gas, might be an electric fireplace, hard to say. Uh, but anyhow, you're looking at predominant heat for most of the home would be electric baseboard. Uh, possibility, if you let that run all the time, that it could be double what you're talking about with, uh, with natural gas. Now, if it's managed, it can actually be sometimes even less money, but you have to stay on top of it. Okay, so most of the stuff's original in the kitchen. Um, you know, they could have taken this stuff out. It would have been minimal effort with, I think, uh, a multiplication in the return. 50 by 149 foot lot. I mean, that's the real win here. This is almost land value. Like, it's really, like, the, the property is worth a lot of money, okay? So that's uh, that's this one here. There's four bedrooms and there's two washrooms. So that's a good thing, too, for a bigger family to start doing some work. Even you put some ductwork in a gas furnace in this one, I don't know where you'd be at, maybe 10,000 bucks, maybe 15, whatever it is. I think if you could land it under four and really make it look good, you're in a great spot. Okay, so 394 Baverstock, 374.9. It's a more side. It's a, this comes in a corner in an end unit. This is the end. And it says 116 foot. So you're looking at probably some kind of a premium lot. Uh, you're talking about... A, a nice looking place. It's been well done. There's a pass through between the kitchen and the family room here. And uh, so the family room, I think they're using as, as a, a dining room. And then the, so that's, so that's your dining, that's your kitchen. And then in the front, you've got the living dining. You actually walk through that. Uh, this is intended, I suppose, as a dining room from the builder. Okay, so there it is there. Front door, walk through this area. Uh, you've got laundry upstairs. You've got three pretty good sized rooms. And uh, the thing that I like about this one is there's a finished basement on it as well. So that combined with the premium lot, at the, I mean, I've seen these models sell for 380 with no premium lot and no finished basement. So they're going to do really, really well. 374.9 is a fantastic price. They are holding back on offers until July 30th. Okay, so you do have a chance to get in. But I can almost guarantee that this one's going to have uh, people interested. I don't know if they're going to step forward with an offer, but there's definitely going to be interest there. Okay, so 1080 Clark Boulevard. 374.9. This is a semi-detached, 1,500 square feet, a little bit smaller than the last one, which is an end unit townhouse. This is a true semi-detached. Uh, three nice size rooms in this one. Great looking floors. The kitchen is is you know hot. It's kicking it. Got laminate upstairs. Looks like no carpet in the whole house. So again, kids with allergies, people really dig that. Okay, so a pool table. How awesome is that? I mean, I don't know if it's included in. It's definitely not an easy thing to move. You got a deck here. You got some trees. There's some privacy. This guy's going to get some heat too, okay? So this guy definitely is bringing the uh, the fire. They've, uh, they're have they definitely going to get some interest. I'd be surprised if it lasted more than a week. Uh, 910 Hepburn, 399.9. This is an 1860-square-foot home. It's called a Rosewood. Madame built it. And uh, it's in the um, like the Tiger Jeet uh, School District, so that's sort of the central area. Uh, nice dark hardwood floors here. Uh, the, I find the furniture really adds to the space. There's even more here, lighter kitchen. I find that wall color and the kitchen cabinets really work well together. So they they definitely chose nice tasteful colors. The countertop picks up some of the blue, but it just, it all works together. Whoever did that, I, I to me, I think did a great job. And then you've got some uh, some nice sized rooms upstairs. There's four of them plus the laundry. And uh, that's this one here. So it just looks like there's one car parking. I don't think that's long enough for the second car. Uh, Hepburn can be a little bit busy, but it's still workable. I think $399 is probably a pretty good price for this one here. 
1324 costly or Moet, sorry, Costlian's coming up in a couple homes. So this home backs onto Main Street back here, and you can see the new buildings that they're just starting to put together, the four-story ones just on the opposite, on the south side of Main Street. Okay, so this one is at 4099. I'll show you a little bit more about the street here. So there's the house right there. You can see there's the builder sales center when they weren't uh, doing anything. Okay, so the, uh, you go around, that's the traffic lights for uh, for Maple and Main. And then those are the older Maple, Maple Crossing buildings just over here. And then you come in off the main road, Maple just comes across. So that's where this one is. Just when you first turn on to Mowat Lane, uh, it looks like there's hardwood on diagonal. The pictures look a little bit dark. They're almost grainy because they didn't have enough light in them. Uh, it's a big home. 409, I mean, these homes typically take a big hit for backing on to, uh, to Main Street. So at 409, that to me would mean that this one would actually have to sell for 420, 430 in some of the other areas. 2,100 square feet, four bedroom. I don't know. I think this one's going to be really tough to sell because the size is going to push the value up. But is someone at 409 you have choices right you don't have to live in this home even look at the one we just profiled 1860 square feet on Hepburn which is slightly busier but at least you back on to, to neighbors to other not Main Street with big you know 18 wheel trucks coming down the uh, the road so anyhow tough sale okay so 227 Minto 509 it's a double car garage it's a three bedroom home 37 by 100 foot lot and uh not a lot of stuff in it. I guess the appliances look good. They've definitely made it look big. I mean, the photos certainly push the, uh, the square footage out, which is what you want, but you're going to have to be putting some fencing in, uh, potentially window coverings. Uh, it looks like they do have central air in here. I don't know. I think the three bedroom, I don't know. It just, it's, it's okay to me. It's 2000 square feet. I look at this. This is the same price. This one on cost again, not quite as new. But you're talking about 2,300 square feet. Um, that, I believe, is the second floor family room. Could be the first floor. It's hard to tell because it's like the whole house is pretty much painted. Uh, that might be the second floor up there. Uh, you've got the kitchen down there. And they could have a big lesson when you're selling your home is open these blinds up makes everything look a lot brighter. Uh, unless there's something there that probably somebody shouldn't see. But uh, the upstairs looks like it's nice and open, and the rooms, there's definitely been a lot of care. I like to see stuff like this because it just means that people have gone, they're not just bare boning it, they're not just doing exactly what the builder gave them, upgrades, okay? So this is, uh, this is a good listing. There's a lot of space here for, uh, for the price they're asking. Serafini. Very interesting. Bungalow, 579. And uh, and this is a real luxury bungalow. You can see the picture. I mean, that's a great front shot there. They've done the stenciled uh, lettering. And so inside, it's a little bit dark, but you can see the windows have a nice effect here. Hardwood floors. There's an agent selling this one, and, uh, and I think she's done a great job with it. The color choices, the stainless steel, the backsplash, granite counters. Tell me when to stop, okay? Because there's just, it, it goes on and on. And uh, only two bedrooms, which could affect them, right? I mean, I, I, at 580, would you want the third bedroom? But that could be made up with uh, with extra living space area. And the nice thing is if you finish the basement on this one, uh, bungalows take up more of a footprint. So you actually get a big, big basement that you can, uh, you know, have the grandkids play or whatever you want to do. So... Nice looking home. I mean, it's certainly, there's not many of these that come out, so it must be tricky to, uh, to to try and figure out the value, especially when it's your own house. Okay, so 125 McLaughlin is at 649.9. This is like 2,300 square feet, and you saw that you can get a 2,300 square foot on Costigan for 509. Okay, so even under 550, there's certainly homes that are the same size as this one. This one doesn't have a finished basement. It's got the stone and the brick, and uh, it's four bedrooms, nice little bedroom here up on the turret level. That's a, uh, a living room, and then it sort of opens up the back end here, okay? So come in front, looks nice, your lines are there to greet you. Uh, under cabinet lighting, granite counters, 
crown molding. So that's what it is. So you walk in the front door, and so this wall represents the separation between the front hallway and then your dining room, and then that, and that's it. And then you have a kitchen here, and then there's a living room just over, uh, it would be further left. There it is there. Okay, so there's the wall, there's your entrance, nice big window here, and then your, your living room is there. Uh, I think that might be a powder room or a closet, and then there's a laundry and a garage entry just further down. There's your living. Here's the bottom line. It's a nice looking home. 649, I don't think is anywhere near where they need to be. I think they got to be a lot lower to be competitive. Uh, but I do, I, I mean, I'm a big fan of the home. I just think that that's not the appropriate price. You think about you could get homes that are six, 700 square feet bigger with, uh, with just as many upgrades. You think about even the one we have at 504 Hinchy, and you're talking 635 for that one. So I don't know, that's 3,000 square feet, five bedrooms. It just it doesn't, I don't think it's the right place. 509 Cusick is at uh, 729.9. It's, uh, it's a 3455 square foot home. It's a Wellington model. Fantastic model, one of my favorites in town. Uh, it's on a 50 by 98 foot lot, so you're getting a little bit more space there. Uh, the same model sold on this street in the 680 kind of range, okay, and it had the hardwood. It really doesn't look like there's a lot of difference between this one and the one at 680. We'll wait for the photos to come out, but I don't know if, if this is really going to be one. The only thing I can think, because there's some homes on this street that do back onto green space or whatever else, if they have that, it's a different story. But if they're just backing onto other homes, it might be a little bit tricky. Okay, so Halton is the next one, 311 Halton, 1 1.195. It's right in town, okay? So it's literally like in that nice little enclave across from EC Drury and, uh, and just a spectacular home, uh, about half an acre. And so double car garage, nice landscaping. Look at the inside of this home. Family room overlooking a pool. And uh, you can see how the kitchen or a little bit of a prep bar interacts. There's your kitchen there. Crown moldings. This house is beautiful. I really love what they did. I love the decor. Um, home theater down in the basement. Fully finished basement. Got a second kitchen down there. The deck, the trees, the pool. I mean, this is outstanding. Here is the thing for me that really electrifies me. You've got a green in your backyard. Like, come on. Like, can you can you do any better than this? And it's in town too, so you're not going out to the country. You don't have all this stuff with with uh, septic and with well and all that nonsense. It's all hooked into the city stuff. Uh, 1.2 million to me. This is one of the favorite homes I've reviewed in Milton Daily Homes all year. I think it's beautiful. Uh, I think they priced it pretty well. I mean, there was one that sold over on Parkway, uh, over a million bucks, and uh, it had bigger land. Uh, this one looks a little more move and ready, but they're both, I mean, this is just a great home. Parkway was a great home, and, uh, and I'm very excited. I'll be looking for a buyer for this home. Who knows, maybe I'll even go and uh, maybe think about it for myself. So anyhow, that's the list for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. Bye for now.